So a lot of people have asked us, like, why an RV? How'd you decide to do this? And the fact is, is we were actually looking at houses uh, pretty seriously, like talking to mortgage lenders, going to showings like every weekend. Like we were pretty set on buying a house right before we bought our RV. Yeah, I mean, the, we had a price range we were looking at. We had a house style we were looking at. Like we were, there was a couple of them that we were pretty set on actually. And uh, we were up visiting family and we were watching HGTV as people do when they're looking at stuff for or about houses and uh, watching Tiny House Hunters. Yeah, actually I was watching Tiny House Hunters. He was taking a nap, but he came out and got in at the last end of the show. Yeah. And we were looking at the prices and they were like 60, 70, 80,000 dollars. We live in Oklahoma where a starter home is like 140, uh, 140, 150. So they were buying these like teeny, teeny, tiny houses for like half the price of a good house. And I was like, well, that's silly. And I was like, you could buy an RV for that price. And I don't think either one of us really believed what I had said. So we pulled out our phones and started looking and we're kind of shocked. Yeah. So, um, we finished up the homework we were working on and we actually started, uh, looking at RV, uh, RVs like in Claremore and Tulsa and then the weekend after in Oklahoma City we started looking at RVs and then we started um, doing this like back to back like one weekend we'd be looking at RVs the next weekend we'd be looking at houses and this idea just sort of took off yeah like we were kind of split like if we looked at houses we were sold on houses if we looked at RVs we wanted an RV and so that's why we kind of bounced around and in fact one weekend we looked at houses and then we went and looked at RVs like that same day and just so we can like gauge our reactions. I was a little more team RV. I was a little more team house. And it's not that either one of us was opposed to the other idea. It's just um, I'm terrified of like Settling. being married to a location and Corey is just not as terrified as I am when it comes to stuff like that. Um, so there was this day where I ugly cried in a subdivision. Um, because she was afraid that that was what her life was going to be. I was afraid that I was just going to, you know, just like this, like my stories that I get to tell, these crazy adventures that I have was over. And then I was just going to be confined to this, this house. In a subdivision. You know, fixing broken toilets. and 2.5 kids and... And only having adventures two weeks out of the year. And that's not a bad life per se, but it's just not something I'm ready for. Yeah. So we... Then I got news. Um, it yeah. was a Monday morning. They pulled everyone into a meeting and said, hey, there's this really cool software that we're going to start using. Bad news is we're going to have to cut some jobs. You will know on Friday. As soon as I logged in on Thursday, they shot me a message, said, hey, you ready for your meeting? Um... I had known since Monday that I saw the writing on the wall. In fact, when they told me, we're sorry, your job is being affected, I was like, I know. Yeah. Which kind of caught them off guard, because they're like, how do you know? Was, Listen, I my job is to kind of foresight, predict things. I saw the writing on the wall. I knew that that was it. Um, so, But I wasn't mentally prepared at all for it. Yeah. So long story short, um, Corey's remote working job was kind of on the line and it's not that he's not going to find another remote working job that's going to be one of our main goals while we're out uh is is replacing his remote working job with another remote working job um but it was seeing like this opportunity to rv around the country was a pos like losing it like we this, thought it was like like that was gone it wasn't an act and i realized like how devastated i was that this mm -hmm. dream that i never knew i had I suddenly got it and now it was just like ripped away and I was just like, I don't know, super bummed. And I was bummed too. So like we were both like, we saw like this opportunity gone and we thought, okay, well we've got to close on a house soon. And then I woke up the next morning and I don't know who said it, but one of us said, we've just got to get the RV. And we did. And we did because like now I'm not sold, I'm not stuck to one location for a job. I can go anywhere for a job. And that was kind of the, the thought process behind getting the RV instead of getting a house or renewing a lease. Because that's what it was, is our lease was up. Yeah. So there's like a lot of things happening at that point, And we decided like this was for us. 
uh, we don't have any, you know, kids yet, except there's a lot of our beers out here with kids. Um, uh, we just have Jake the dog and, uh, He's handful enough. He's handful enough. <laughs> yeah. And we just, we saw this opportunity and we wanted to, to make it, you know, something we do with our life. Mm-hmm. And somehow HGTV is the reason we are RVing around the country. Thanks, HGTV. <laughs> I'm sure a lot of people have HGTV to thank for random and weird projects that they never knew they wanted to take on. So, like, right before, like, I got the news, we found a house that kind of pushed us. Like, that was the one we, we were yeah, kind of ready to go cute. for. It was $127,000. It was a nice layout that we liked. had a lot of uh, newer uh, features and fixtures. And, like, we'd already talked with mortgages. Like, we'd already got everything set up and ready to go. And then I got the news. And, like, that house felt good. When we found this RV that we're currently in... Yeah, come here. Our dog is chasing flies. <laughs> come here, sit down. He sit. never catches them. Okay. Or I'd give him treats. When we found this RV, uh, it felt better than that house. Yeah. Like, it was... It felt more like home than that house did. And... Uh, so I think um, I think we're really pleased with our decision. We're only you know almost a month into this, um, and all of my fears I had about not liking it, about yeah. being uncomfortable, um, we haven't had so far. All of our budgets have been fairly in line with what we expected, uh, which we'll dive in later in some different videos on like um, it, what our monthly budget looks like mm-hmm. and how we negotiated the price on our RV and. And you know what it cost for us and like gas and all of that stuff. But it so, all just kind of, yeah. Like, is it all just fell in place and like this was just the. This was it. This, this was, was it. Decision. And I, even I, I mentioned just about an hour ago on our drive back that you know I, I had some reservations and anxieties going into this that none of them have come true. Like everything's working out better than I could have hoped. Yeah, and I know we're still gonna have probably some bad days, some major breakdowns, some. Bugs. You know, tires, some bugs, some, you know, broken refrigerators. Like, things happen. You're in a house that moves down the highway at 65 miles an hour on a regular basis. So, things are going to happen. And we're prepared for those things, I think. Yeah. Um, But but I think we've had a really good maiden voyage. So far, this has felt more like home than... than pretty much anywhere else we've lived since our, like, childhood homes, Yeah, I think. I mean, yeah. the Lost and Claremore were pretty close. The Lost and Claremore were nice, but immensely better than our apartment. Yeah. Our apartment felt like a dorm room, kind of. Yeah. So. But yeah, so here we are. All and right. This is our life. Thanks for watching.